Welcome to this video on Writing Standard 2.3. We will discuss how to make connections in expository writing. We will be covering the core standards in writing. Write informative, explanatory text to examine and convey complex ideas, concepts, and information clearly and accurately through the effective selection, organization, and analysis of content. Use appropriate and varied transitions to link the major sections of the text, create cohesion, and clarify the relationships among complex ideas and concepts. We will be covering the following. Use transitions logically to clarify the relationship between ideas in different sentences. Use coordination logically to join equal and related words, phrases, and clauses in a sentence. Use subordination logically to connect related but unequal ideas in a single sentence. Order your ideas logically and consistently within sentences and groups of sentences. You've been writing for quite some time now. You are able to put a sentence together and get your point across and are able to communicate via the written word. The skills you learn in this session should help you improve your writing skills. Transitions are words and phrases that act as bridges to link your ideas from sentence to sentence and often as guideposts to indicate the direction of your thoughts. It enables your ideas to flow together smoothly. Different transitions establish different relationships between ideas. To show a time sequence, after, during, finally, first, second, and third. To compare or contrast, conversely, however, in contrast, indeed. To show a cause or effect, as a result, because of, consequently, then. To add more information, also, as well, besides, furthermore. To emphasize a point, indeed, in fact, in other words, most important. To introduce examples or explanations, also, for example, in particular, namely. Notice that the following sentences without transitions are isolated and sometimes confusing. When the same sentences are rewritten to include transitions, the logical relationship between the ideas becomes clearer. Also notice that the transitions do not always have to be placed at the beginning of the second sentence. By using coordination to join words, phrases, and clauses, you can indicate to the reader that these items or ideas are related and equally important. Coordination is used to join equal and related words, phrases, and clauses in a sentence. You can join ideas of equal importance using four main methods noted in the chart. You can join ideas of equal importance using four main methods noted in the chart. The following examples show these four methods. Unconnected. I suggest you subscribe to a morning newspaper. An evening newspaper is also acceptable. With coordination. I suggest you describe to either a morning or an evening newspaper. Another way to connect ideas within a sentence is to use subordination. By making one clause subordinate to another, you can make that clause describe or modify another in a complex sentence. Use subordination to connect related but unequal ideas in a single sentence. The subordinate clauses begin with words such as while, because, as if, which, and contain supporting ideas. The following examples show logical relationships that can be indicated by the use of subordinate clauses. Another method of making your sentences clear and smooth involves arranging ideas within your sentences according to logical plans. Some commonly used plans are chronological order, spatial order, order of importance, and comparison and contrast order. Related ideas within a sentence should be rearranged in a logical order. As you read the following examples, 
notice that a sentence with ideas in an illogical order forces the reader to jump back and forth between unconnected ideas. Illogical order. I dressed in my best clothes, took a shower, and left for the reception. Logical order. I took a shower, dressed in my best clo clothes, and left for the reception. The more you know about how to write clearly and concisely, the better off you'll be. From job applications to reports written on the job, creating relationships between sentences and ideas has unlimited applications. Let's do an exercise using transitions. Rewrite each pair of sentences using transitions to show the most logical relationship between the two ideas. Pause the video if necessary. Let's do another activity about making connections. Rewrite the following passage using transitions, coordination, subordination, and logical order to create a smooth, clear relationship between the ideas. Pause the video if necessary. How can you make your sentences varied in length and structure? By using what you learned in this lesson, you can manipulate your writing in whatever way you wish. Using transitions, coordinating clauses, and subordination will help you to create a more logical order in your writing. How can you create clarity and smoothness in writing? Learn all that you can about writing. Apply what you learn and it will improve. As a student, you're expected to use appropriate and varied transitions to link the major sections of the text, create cohesion, and clarify the relationships among complex ideas and concepts. We've come to the end of our session. We have discussed using transitions logically to clarify the relationship between ideas in different sentences and ordering your ideas logically and consistently within sentences and groups of sentences. By the end of the session, you should know or be able to do the following. Making clear connections. Using transitions. Using coordination. Using subordination. Using logical order. This information should help improve your composition skills. Good luck with your writing.